I'm John Sterling. I'm Richard Price's editor, and uh, we're here to talk about The Whites, um, which Richard has written under the name Harry Brandt. You've got an event coming up at the 92nd Street Y with David Simon. Are you planning to work with him again? Um, in well, we actually have written something for HBO uh, together, and it's a pilot and a follow-up episode for a series uh, called The Deuce, uh, where for Deuce was the slang for Times Square. <laughs> And uh, it's about Times Square in the 1970s, about the mafia control of the sex industry, um, cleaning up the city, uh, deals with the devil. It's about the rise of gay liberation, women liberation, plus this huge sexual, commercialized sexual presence at the same time that women are marching down the street. Mm -hmm. And, you know, gays are fighting for their rights and City Hall is trying to uh, make deals with uh, organized crime to keep all the prostitutes off the streets. That doesn't mean not working, but to seclude them in massage parlors so tourists don't get accosted because the city was broke. It's about real politics. Mm -hmm. And at the 92nd Street Y, do you, do you yet know what you're going to be talking about with David? I mean, for instance, uh, there's an awful lot about cops in New York on the front page of newspapers right well, now. Well, I'm sure that stuff will come up. Yeah. And I expect to talk to David would be a real conversation as opposed to a Q&A mm -hmm. because we both have our opinions on the things that uh, literally are very important to us. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it'll be a lot of give and take. And do you have anything particular planned for other events? Well, there normally... On my book tours in the past, it, it would be me getting up there, doing a 30-minute reading, taking questions from the audience. It has now evolved into more of a conversation with other writers or other people that are relevant to the subject that I wrote about. And I was thinking I would like a mix of people. For example, I wouldn't mind a mystery writer or an urban writer talking to an urban writer. I wouldn't mind talking to a more generalized novelist or, you know, somebody from the media. But what I would like to do also is to have a conversation with somebody, uh, a reporter who covers police mm -hmm. and is an old hand at the very thing that I'm writing about and probably knows ten times more than what I'm writing about. Knows that world and so yeah, fully yeah. engage you on that topic. Yeah. yeah. Good. Yeah. And uh, any particular city you're especially looking forward to visiting? Yeah, I'd really like to visit New York. Okay. It's a great city. Yeah, I hear that yeah, all the heard. time. You know? Big. Yeah, Milwaukee. Going on. No. Um, yeah. New York. New York. Uh, every thing about New York is you read in one bookstore and it's a, it's a specific experience. You read in another bookstore, it's like you, you went to a different city. It's just like if you live in New York and you move from neighborhood to neighborhood, every time you move into a neighborhood, it's like, the city is coming at you brand new. And that's, so I'm looking for a variety of readings in the New York area, but I'm also looking for Philadelphia, DC, um, San Francisco. You know, I, I'm happy to go wherever I'm going, but New York is, is my home, and I don't even want to leave it for a book tour, basically. <laughs>